Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Frankie. Happy birthday to me. Well, as you might have guessed, it's my birthday. And if I don't do this, nobody else will, sadly. So <laughs> it's pathetic, isn't it? But what could have been disastrous last night was averted. By the way, uh, new subscribers, Paolo, 1544 and Elliot, the Garner, welcome to the Truck to Boys Social Club. It could have been a, a really terrible night last night for town because, um, yeah, we played like a League One team. Let's be honest, we played at a level that was the way that Rotherham United will play uh, next season, probably. But give them credit where credit's due. They played uh, remarkably well. And it was good to see in the studio on Town TV, Alan Lee, who is one of my personal favourites, very articulate, very uh, uh, contemplative when he uh, discusses football, and James Jamie Scowcroft as well. That was really nice. But we did play like an average League One uh, side and uh, probably less than an average League One side last night. The only uh, saving grace were the goals. But if you look at uh, percentage uh, percentages, well, Rotherham had 53% of possession. They had 13 shots to Towns 11. The difference, of course, was the shots on target 7 to 5 to Town, of which four of them were goals. And... Amari Hutchinson saved the day in front of 28,000 uh, supporters last night because it was looking really like we were going to drop um, a couple of points there. And I think that would have been devastating. I actually uh, suspect that um, by the end of uh, the season, it will go down to goal difference. And that's not very encouraging for Ipswich either because we're minus 14 on Leeds and minus three on the Saints. Well, the Saints lost last night. They're having a bit of a wobble. That's two defeats in three. So there is hope. Um, but as for Leeds, well, they are a bit unpredictable too. They can have very good days and they can have bad ones too. And two of their, their um, fixes coming up against Yorkshire teams. So there's still hope there. Mick Mill said that we were bullied out of the game by Rotherham. Uh, his quotation from uh, BBC Radio Suffolk, he said, they bullied us like Wimbledon used to in the 70s and 80s, and that's what it was like. And to some extent, he's right, isn't he? OK, the main thing is we've got the three points. At the end of the season, this will be quickly forgotten if we get automatic promotion. OK, we'll end it here. And what we say, darling? Up a, a town! town!